क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट मल्टी प्रोसेसर स्कीड्यूलिंग एंड द अप्रोचेज दट आर इम्प्लीमेंटेड ड्यू टू द मल्टी प्रोसेसर स्कीड्यूलिंग इट मे बी एसिमेट्रिक और सीमेट्रिक बट देयर मज बी सम कंस्टेंट्स विच शुड कीप इन माइंड वाइल इम्प्लीमेंटिंग द स्कीड्यूलिंग Scheduling is very straightforward when we are talking about a processor with a single CPU. But as multiple CPUs are available, the load sharing may become very easier, but the task of scheduling become correspondingly more complex. Now we are concentrating on the system which have identical and homogeneous processor in it in terms of their functionality. but even with homogeneous systems there are some limitations while we are doing the cpu scheduling for example take that an io device which is attached to a private bus of any processor now a process that wants to use that processor io device bus want to be scheduled on that processor only now this multi processor scheduling can be done with the main two approaches the first approach is the asymmetric multi processing in asymmetric multi processing there is a single processor which takes the scheduling decisions the processing activities and other system activities as well this is known as a master server and any other processes in the processor are known as the user processor which executes only the user processes now this processor with help of this processor we can simplify the scheduling act asymmetric multi processing is very simple because it uses only a processor which uses the system data structure thus reduces the need for the data sharing among the processor now another approach is the symmetric multi processing in this type all processors are self scheduling and they can have a common ready queue or each processor can have their private ready queue regardless while they are proceeding the scheduling the scheduler for each processor must examine the ready queue and then select a process from this now if two or more processes are sharing the same data structure and try to implement and access that data then the scheduler must be programmed very carefully we want to store the shared data in a private region and can have the simultaneous access restriction between the processes the two processors should not want to schedule any same process and we should also take care that the processes are not from lost to the ready queue now every virtual operating system including the windows linux vinos and solaris are implemented by this smp architecture of scheduling that is all for the approaches of scheduling of multi processing system thank you for watching this video stay tuned with ikira and subscribe to ikira